it's me and Oliver and we're just having a great day here in Northwest Ohio. In fact, we just got a huge box, two boxes, pretty big, filled with Mangabi. <laughs> and uh, we're excited because we're gonna do an unboxing to share with you, to show us our, show you our new plants. It was fun, it's fun, right? Oh, you see a bug, he's always seeing bugs. Right here behind us by the water feature is a new little garden we're putting together. Um, it's filled with my Mangavi collection, so I'm pretty excited to add these other plants to it. So that's gonna be fun, and we'll have to do another video. Hi, I love kisses, oh gosh. <laughs> I love kisses. You're such a good boy. And Oliver likes the Mangavi too, because unlike the Gavi plant, uh, they do not have pokers on them. However, you want to be careful and not let your pets eat them or chew on them. Not a good thing. Um, we don't recommend that. So we watch close with Oliver because he does like to chew on some things, don't you? You just got to watch it till, you learn, till they learn not to do that. So anyhow, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and show... We're going to go ahead and show you what our little landscape looks like right now and do the unboxing. And this would be fun, huh? Should we go out front where Oliver loves to run around? This one. It is very, very sunny, which is awesome <laughs> because these plants love full sun. And today I'm going to be doing a unboxing of some new plants I'm adding to my garden here in Northwest Ohio. And I'm pretty excited about it because these are Mangavi. Um, they are out of Michigan, which you can find them at Walters Gardens. That's where these are uh, grown. And they're part of the Mad About Mangavi collection. And um, let's do this. Got the box cutter ready to go. We've got two boxes, super fun. Um, the best way to open these really is with the box cutters, definitely. And uh, oh, here we go. So exciting. I love these. They're, they love the sun. They do the best when they're in the sun. What you got, Oliver? Oliver likes chasing bugs lately and he barks at them. Um, these are packaged paint. Ooh, this is fun. Uh -huh. Oh, look at this. How cool. How oh, cool. going to help me. You wanted to help, huh? All right, so right here we... <laughs> Maybe not. He's all over the place like me. So this one here is the Jumping Jacks. Pretty. I'll do one up close to that so you can see. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. These are kind of neat. They came in like a little six-pack here. Oh, cool. Look, and yay, they have tags. So I'll take a photo of those because you know me, I always forget the name of the plants. Um, let's set these here. Nice. Oh, this is a neat one. Kind of looks like one I have already, maybe. No, snow leopard. Oh, cool. Now, these may look totally different once they uh, stay in the sun for, you know, they have some good grow time for a couple of weeks. Uh, these do awesome in my uh, geodesic biodome garden where they get plenty of sun and heat. Uh, these things are amazing. <laughs> they really are. So I'm going to do a close up of these so you can see what they look like now. And then we'll have to do another video to show what they end up doing after being in the sun for some time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up this one too. And we'll do a close up. I see one here with the red. I love all the different colors and the, they, they all have unique characteristics. That's for sure. All right. So this is cool how this is packaged here. And if you can, if you notice, it looks very green. They all kind of look like the same tone of green, don't they? But once they get out in the sun, um, each one will have their own unique characteristics. That's what's really neat about the Mangavi. They love full sun, and I'll tell you what, this one's Silver Fox. And uh, I can kind of actually see some of the silver in it already. Um, 
it will start sprouting new sprouts out of here as soon as it gets into a nice sunny location for sure it really is a beautiful they're all beautiful plants really so i'm excited, excited today for because these. i'm out front in our front garden i like to say i don't usually share too much out here unless we're flying the drone or flying airplanes and things like that or um when the flood comes up it's out in this area it's been pretty dry for oh, about two weeks now i think it's been two weeks uh, it's normal to get the water up in the yard. It's a floodplain area here in the property that we own. But check out the willow tree behind me. That is like one of my absolute favorite trees. Uh, I cannot take credit for planting it. That was planted in the 70s by the first owner of this property. And it's just such a fun tree if you plant them in the right location. This one's in the perfect location because it's out in a meadow floodplain area. It's far enough away from my tiling and my home. Uh, you know, all the pipes and drainage and all that stuff. You want to keep those things away from your home because it can really cause a lot of damage. But it really is just a beautiful tree and it's such a nice day here in Northwest Ohio to be outside enjoying it with you. All right, thank you for joining us today here in our garden with the share. I am very sure we'll be sharing more about the mangavi especially as we move them in for winter gardening so we can enjoy them indoors. Most of the managavi I grow in containers, so it is easy to scoop up and out of the mulch or rock landscape to bring to safety indoors before frost arrives. And of course, we'll have to give you an update on how pretty these managavis get once they're in the sunshine. Huh. You ready for a nap? Maybe not. Oh, oh, that's nice. Thanks for joining us today in the garden landscape. I look forward to connecting with you. So be sure to visit my website and leave a comment or a message. Questions and suggestions for future videos are totally welcome. I love it if you'd follow me on social media at Bren Haas, which is B-R-E-N-H-A-A-S on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, I hope you get out in the garden.